We have some weather on our way for sure. Yesterday, very mild, uh, pretty warm here across western Oregon. Topped out at 57 degrees here in Eugene, about the same in Corvallis and Roseburg. Even warmer for those of you North Bend, where you made it back into the 60s yesterday, 62 in Brookings. And then when you head over to Central Oregon, it was low 50s there. Still seeing some of that cold air bottled up uh, over in the eastern part of the state. But for the most part, most Oregonians uh, seeing warmer than average temperatures. Again, that high of 57 near Eugene, that's four degrees above average for this time of year. The record 68, uh, really not that warm when you think about it, but that goes all the way back to 1912. Now, 40 degrees was the low. That's almost to the average of 38. The record, though, you have to go much cooler than that. We have not gotten anywhere close uh, to that record of 14 degrees, which was set back in 1978. Now, clear skies over the state of Oregon today with the exception of uh, that fog that is starting to form here along the valley. Temperatures not bad, 46 in Eugene, low 40s out near the coast, but it is very chilly under those clear skies in central Oregon, uh, just 20 right now in Redmond. Bundle up if you're headed out and about. Uh, high pressure is over the uh, Pacific Northwest, which is continuing to keep us dry and rather mild, but uh, we do have a pretty complicated atmospheric pattern going on right now. The jet stream is split, so that's taking half of those storms to the north and half of them to the south and we're right in the middle of this now what's going to happen uh, later on Friday is that jet stream is going to combine and that's going to happen uh, right as we see storms coming in from the south and storms coming in from the north so we'll get hit from both directions so first of all this is the first storm it's going to get here Friday night basically we'll see some scattered showers for the coast uh, and for the southern part of the state a little bit of light rain after about seven o'clock here in the valley now, as we head into Saturday, that's when that heavy rain is going to move in. This cold front's going to move in here early in the day, and it is going to bring that rain here across uh, western Oregon for the first part of the day, changing over to scattered showers for the afternoon. We'll get a break Sunday, but then we have storms three, four, and five uh, lined up further in the Pacific, which will keep next week very soggy. So for the coast, you're looking at those mid to upper 50s. You'll see that morning fog, afternoon sun breaks. Uh, the wind Wind is staying pretty light out there. Uh, we'll see uh, scattered showers again late in the day Friday. Heavier rain comes Saturday, uh, and then we're going to see good chances for rain Monday all the way through Wednesday. The Umqua Basin, you'll be back into the mid to upper 50s. Also putting up with a little bit of fog this morning. Uh, more sunshine this afternoon. Again, that first storm hits Friday night, second one on Saturday. Still nice and mild up in the Cascades. Snow level clear up to 8,000 feet. That will change as well over the weekend. We'll start to see some snow accumulating up at the pass once again. Central Oregon, low to mid 50s, mostly sunny for you. You'll see that chance for a little bit of light rain on Friday. Heavier rain comes Saturday. Good chances next week, which will likely be mixed with a little bit of snow there overnight. And for the valley, we're looking at those mid 50s, about 56 today in Eugene. We have to put up with that morning fog, afternoon sun breaks. Uh, we'll see a few showers late in the day Friday, heavier rain early Saturday. Looks like by game time for both the ducks and the beavers, it'll just be some light scattered showers, dry Sunday for the most part, and then heavy rain Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday.